Hello everyone! You really enjoyed that house video, didn't you? Well, turns out after I finished it, I actually found a few more spots that I forgot. Also, there's been a few really nice people in the comment section that helped me out. Thanks to everyone who wrote their spot down. Enough talking around, let's begin! Again, we go from the top to the bottom. Shoot a medium-sized hole in the wall in the kid's bedroom. Now step into the closet and punch a small hole into the wall there. If you do it accurately enough, you can cover both windows. If you make your hole in the very right, you can even snipe the people on the tower. You can even take it one step further and increase the size of the second hole. After that, you demolish the wall behind you. Now you can cover the windows through effectively three walls. You can make the first two really big and the last one with just one punch. It will still look very overwhelming for everyone who peeks in. The same window can be reached from the master bedroom. Just punch a murder hole into this window and peek through. It is fairly hard to notice from the distance. And don't forget that you can make a peek hole from the bathroom all the way into kids. Do you know the feeling when you want to breach into the bathroom and there's someone sitting behind this indestructible wall? This is how you counteract. The easiest way would be with Ash. Use your grenade launcher and shoot this wall. After that he is exposed. But you don't need Ash. You can just spray the wall and get a lucky wall bang. You can even wall bang from below. The spot is right here in the office. But well, we can do that even cheesier. If you go from the office into the dining room, make a gap in the top right corner of the ceiling. Now throw a grenade and it will land just right. You can make a similar tactic against anyone that successfully breaches the bathroom. Back into the office, stand next to this table and throw your C4 straight up. Now wait for someone that walks past the shower. Boom. Have you ever considered opening fire on the people that camp behind the tilted wardrobe from below? It's easy, just go into this corner of the dining room and open fire. Open up a stripe into the floor in between the workshop and the kids room. After that you make a hole into this wall right here. Now you can see the living room as well as the side entrance from above. Did you know that you do not have to break this hatch to peek outside of this window? The entire floor is breachable. Just break any part of the floor depending on where you want to hit them. You can get a crazy steep angle with this. You can cover the same window by making a peek hole into the dining room. It's just a small trick but covers you quite well. Break the ceiling in the living room right next to the TV. Let anyone who walks out of the side of the workshop have a nasty surprise. We're halfway through now and here's a Valkyrie octopus. If you break a wall in the lobby next to the bookshelf and then go upstairs to break the hatch, you can see the entire lobby as well as the front door while having minimal exposure. If you instead jump onto the bookshelf and then shoot a hole into the wall right next to it, you can very easily kill anyone walking up the stairs. Nobody will see the hole because it sits in such a weird angle. Cover the double windows in the dining room from the side stairs. Just walk down and make a murder hole right here. As soon as the attackers enter, they will not expect to be shot from that side. Cover the side entrance by crawling behind this table. Just smack a single hole into it and keep your eyes on the door. Did you know you can see the entire north side of the garage if you shoot open the floor next to the lobby stairs? Depending on how much you open, you got a lot of room to work with. Here's one that works especially well when you've got the bombs in the living and the training room. Make a hole or throw C4 onto the floor in the middle of the doorway. Now you can sneakily kill anyone that tries to enter from below. You can cover the laundry room entrance in the basement from the living room on the first floor. All you have to do is open the hatch. You can make this one extra cheesy by making a hole underneath the pool table. You can even see a little bit further in. You can even break the walls to the side to see a little bit more. If you peek the same hole from the gym, you can see all the way into the garage. By relocating yourself a little bit, you can get a really cheeky angle onto the gym entrance. Go down the stairway, break the vase and take its place. In this corner you are very hidden. The handrail disguises you extremely well. As a defender, use a shotgun to blow open this wall on the opposite side of the staircase. Then do the same in the laundry room towards the garage. Hop back onto the stairs. Now you can pick a very long distance fight with anyone trying to enter the garage from the southern side. Here you can see the potential coverage from this spot. And last but not least, this is more of an advice. If you get the feeling that you get spawn peeked on the docks, just carefully lean and peek as you are walking up the stairs. Alright, that should pretty much be everything. I did not expect I get so many more spots after I've done the first video. If you learned something new today, why not give me a like? If this video was absolutely useless to you, feel free to dislike it. If you want to see more of those, you can subscribe. I've got more kill spot videos coming up. So yeah, thanks for watching and until next time. See ya. One on stairs. Reload, you're on four shots. Four four oh my god, you didn't... You don't... Four no, that was the guy on stairs, he's fine. He's, 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 he's rotated. What? Oh god, my pistol Lower. was so... My pistol had such a high hitbox Resume that I missed. Uh, I didn't see him coming in back. There's one on this window right here, and on the other window too. Right outside. Holy there. shit, that scared the shit out of me!